Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain about the crafters tab. It shows all the results, whether you are making a profit or a loss, what the buying and selling prices are, where you are buying and selling, and what settings you are using to calculate everything correctly. I will first explain our menu. In the first cell, you choose which item you want to analyze. For example, we are here at the O Nature Staff and we can analyze bows, swords, and all the items in the game. There is also the part about islands, which involves animal breeding, farming, and the aspect of workers. There is also potion crafting, food crafting, item crafting, and refining. It has everything, folks. For example, I will choose refining. What type of refining is it? I will refine fabric. So I choose fabric here. Next to the fabric photo, you can choose the quantity. For example, I want to refine 9999 fabrics. Here I can filter by tier, which is what will appear on the screen. I can also filter by enchantment. I want to refine only 4.1. Here we have a button to select manual price. You can see that the prices appearing here, selling prices and buying prices, are prices that have been automatically filled in by the Albion data application. But we can also use manual prices. I will filter only tier 3. The selling price of the fabric is 205. I can set it, for example, to 210. I type the value I want in the cell. It will save this value and replace it with the value 205. Now 210 has appeared. If I uncheck the button, it goes back to the API price, which is 205. If I check it, it sets the price to 210. All these manual prices are recorded here in the tab next to it, which is the manual price tab. So here, I can also fill in all the items in the game and they automatically appear on the tab main screen. This other button is the button to load the API. When I click on load the API, the e-spreadsheet updates with the new values. This is the API client. So if I load new values with this client, I just need to click on load API and it will update these values, both for buying and selling prices. And it will also automatically update our profit or loss. We also have a button for you to select whether or not you have a premium account. If you have a premium account, you check this button. This will reduce the buying and selling fees in the market and will also impact certain types of productions, such as animal breeding. We also have a button for you to mark if you plan to sell your production later. And it will show you the fee you will have to pay, which is usually marked by default. There is also a button to use focus. If you want to use focus, you can mark this button and it will show an additional column indicating how much focus will be consumed to produce the specific item you want. If you uncheck mm, the focus column, it will disappear. And we also have here the return rate of the stall. When we set a return rate, for example, a return rate of 40.40%, making 999 recipes, we will have a final production of 1,676. So this return rate is the rate that is at the stall where you will do the refining or crafting. And we also have the store fee, which is the fee displayed at the stall. This will impact the total cost you will have to make this craft. You can see that in this fictional example I provided here, with a selling price of $205 and a buying price of the hide at rate is $6 and the buying price of the fabric from the previous tier at the 43 nawals, we will produce a total of just over 1,000 nawals. The daily demand is $20,000 per day, so I can easily sell these $1,000. The total cost will be $230,000 and the total revenue will be $241,000. Therefore, we had a profit of $4,000. This represents only 1% profit related to your total production cost. If we had a higher return rate, for example, 40.40%, our profit would be much greater, already rising to 39%. Another option you can select here on this button above, the city where you want to search for prices from the API. It is in Kirlian. If I select, for example, Bridgewatch, it has already pulled the selling price from Bridgewatch. If I select, for example, Fort Stelling, it has pulled the price from Fort Stelling. So you can see all the prices from all the selling cities by just changing the city. The same applies to the buying price. Here is the buying price in Kirlian. If I set the buying price to Tetford, it shows the buying price in Tetford. If I change it here to Brasilia, it shows the buying price in Brasilia. This data is automatically pulled from the Albion data database. But if I want to see the purchase order price, I just need to click this button next to the city. I clicked the button and it showed. The purchase order is a 67 downs. Meanwhile, the selling order for the Pelego, the raw fabric in Bridgewatch is $70. So this is what this button is for, to mark the purchase order there. 
Then, you can analyze and run various simulations. If you want to use a purchase order or a sale order, which cities you want to buy the resources from, where you want to sell the resource, whether it will be in Martelox, in Brasilia, in Kerleon, or in the black market. So that's what the spreadsheet is for. We have this side menu where you can make the settings, and we also have this menu up here, where you can select the cities from which you will collect the price and whether or not you will use purchase orders and sales orders. Okay. In the next videos, I will explain how each column of this spreadsheet works for all types of items here, one by one. We will bring videos teaching how to use, both for crafting, refining, and for islands. That's it, everyone. Thank you, and see you in the next video.